So, you let him escape, eh, Inspector? Why, you stupid, bungling, incompetent, non compip But, Commissioner, I... I... You have goof up for the last time. Now turn in your gun and badge. You are suspended. B -b but sir... <laughs> but sir, shouldn't you keep me on for your own protection? Remember, Louis swore to get you for sending him up the river. You'll be at the bottom of the river if I see you around here again. Now, get out! I realized that the only way to get my job back was to recapture Louis de Fink. Huh. And knowing that Louis would come after the commissioner, I decided to stick close to the chief. Son of Egon, I have forgot my matches. Uh, monsieur, uh, could I trouble you for a light? Hmm. What an interesting-looking lighter. It's Louis de Fink, sir. He's getting away. Why, you... you assassin! Yes, Monsieur Commissioner. Put this man behind bars. B -b -b but what man, Monsieur Commissioner? put the cover over that hole before somebody falls in and hurts himself. That's terrible. Was that you, Commissioner? Attention, attention. This is the Commissioner speaking. Now hear this. Sacro Iliac! That's Louis up on that ledge! I want all police personnel to concentrate on this manhunt. Somewhere in... Uh, somewhere in Paris, two vicious criminals are hiding out. Search everywhere. No one is safe while they are at large. I especially want the ex-inspector brought in. There is nothing worse than a bad cop. I'll get you now, you swine! Why, you... But, but Commissioner, you see, I was only trying... Uh, trying to... to... Inspector, 
May I borrow your gun for a moment? But, Commissioner, I can explain everything. I, you, you know that I... Uh, Why, you dirty... I'll teach you! You no good, no good! Sneaky turncoat! Mac Letrock, the most vicious criminal in the history of France, had been condemned to Devil's Island. I was assigned to deliver him to that stinking, rotten place. All right, get up there, you big lomix. Come on, look alive, move it. Well, mon capitaine, there's the island, eh? I must say, we've made excellent time, eh? Huh? Wait a minute. No, no, Inspector, that's not where you get off. That's... Don't you tell me where to get off, eh? I'll tell you where to get off, eh? <laughs> now, lower about, I'm getting off. I guess that's telling him off, eh? <laughs> Come on, you lazy monster, I'll put your back into it, eh? Stroke, 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 all right, you swine. Have you any last request before I leave you here to rot on Devil's Island? This ain't Devil's Island. It's Deserted Island. Oh, no. Captain! Captain! Sacre Bleu! And there won't be another boat for six months. In the meantime, big boy, you are still my prisoner. You make one false move, and I will shoot you dead on sight. Aha, now you've done it. You have made a false move. Well, take this. Oh, no, I forgot to load my gun. only law now was the law of the jungle. It would be the brute strength of a gorilla versus the cunning mind of a hawk. And with a bird brain like mine, he didn't stand a chance. Come on out and fight, you crummy little punk! Shoulder. I tell you to come out and knock it off. Why, that big baboon, I'll show him. <laughs> How do you like that, eh? There, this ought to fool that big dummix. All right, you cowardly swine. Come out into the open and face me like a man! Why, you dirty little... Now I'll finish you off once and for all. What's the matter with this stupid rope? So long, copper. I'm gonna throw you off this cliff. Don't bother. Why, that dirty, no-good, sneaky cop. If I ever catch him, I'll... Huh? What's this? Scared? I ain't scared of nothing! You hear that, copper? Nothing! <laughs> he 
it's only fair to warn you that this is going to hurt. It hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> there he is. When this rock hits him, it will be all over. Oh, no! Before you take me in, Inspector, there's something I'd like to get off my chest. Eh? What's that? You... I was hot on the trail of Louis Laswipe, the international jewel thief. I had pursued him all over the continent, from one European capital to another. And at last in London, I finally closed in on him. Aha! Now I've got him! Begging your pardon, Governor, but I believe the Captain would like a word with you. Later, at Scotland Yard, I established my identity as a French police officer. We'll be delighted to assist you in apprehending this jewel thief, Inspector. But I say, old boy, do put away that gun. We police don't use them here in England. It's against the law and all that, you know. Oh, look, there's Louis. Bring back those jewels, you blackguard! <laughs> That swine. Take this! No shooting, old boy. Do try to remember, won't you? Fortunately, my one shot had punctured Louis' diamond bag, <laughs> leaving a telltale trail of gems. No shooting, please. Halt! Halt, you scoundrel! Aha! Now I've got him. <laughs> it's no use, Louis. You're trapped like a rat. Now come out of there or I'll... <laughs> How can I capture him if I can't use my gun? Oh, I know. I'll use this gun silencer. There. Now I'll finish off that murderous fink once and for all. No shooting, please. That's odd. Very odd indeed. No shooting. I know you're in there. If you don't come out, I'll bless my way in. All right. You asked for it. I suggest you restrain yourself, sir. <laughs> now, if you will allow me, I'll look into the matter. I don't see anything. Are you sure he's in there? Let me have a look. Here. Does that answer your question? Precisely, sir. You in there! If you don't surrender peacefully by the count of three, we shall be forced to bash down the door. One... Two... By Jove! 
It's time for tea. <coughs> Will you come on? Uh, Righto. But remember, no shooting. One, two, three. Ready? <laughs> Terribly sorry, old fellow, but I'll just have to relieve you of your gun. Why, you sneaky... <laughs> There you are! Give it to him, Inspector! Bravo! Good show! Come back, you coward! Well, Inspector, I guess that wraps up the case. And I know you'll be happy to have your gun back. But remember, in England, no shooting. I understand perfectly, Captain. Oh, yes. You'd uh, better take these jewels. I suddenly felt a strong urge to travel, and the Captain, acting as my guide, escorted me back to Paris. By way of Rome, Geneva, Venice, Right away, sir. Oh, what a wonderful guy to work for. Yes, Commissioner? I have just learned that Muddy Lafitte has escaped from prison, and I am assigning you to bring him in. But be careful, he's very tricky. Don't worry, sir. I'll have him back behind bars in no time. Inspector, he's too much, that guy. Well, Sergeant Dudu, what do you make of this? I'll bet he's in that shack. Good thinking, Dudu. Now, because you need the experience, I'm going to let you have the thrill of capturing him. Oh, gracias, senor inspector. You can depend on me. Ready? Si. One, two, three, go. You wait here where you'll be safe. I'll take care of Muddy Lafitte myself. You know, they don't make guys like that anymore. You do? See, si, Inspector. I've decided to give you another chance. Oh, gracias, Senor Inspector. All right, you do. Dive in, swim across, and let down the drawbridge. See, si, Inspector. Did I do good, Inspector? Very good, you do. However, I'd suggest that you pay more attention to your appearance. Your uniform is a mess. See, si, Inspector. Try the door. See. Si. Will you come on? <coughs> Try the window. See. Si. 
This is going to look bad on your record, Dudu. See, si, Inspector. Over here, Inspector. He is in there. Watch out, Sergeant. There's a train coming. I told you to watch out. Be careful. Here comes another one. You had better come over here where you'll be safe. See? Si. Something tells me that this kid is a loser. This field looks mighty suspicious, Dudu. You'd better go out and investigate. See? Si. Hmm. Landmines. I'm proud of the way you handled that, Sergeant. So I'm going to let you lead the way. Oh, gracias, Inspector. Must say you have an uncanny knack for locating landmines, Sergeant. How do you do it? I do not know. I am just lucky, I guess. This guy sure makes tracks, don't he, Inspector? Never mind the wise cracks. Just keep on going. See, si, Inspector. If they ever find out about this, they'll kill me. <laughs> Dirty Pierre Le Punk had escaped from prison, and I was assigned to bring him in. My instructions were to meet a special agent in front of an old abandoned house where Pierre was hiding out. Good morning, Honorable Inspector. I am Charlie, your special robot agent. Well, what do you know? <laughs> An electronic cap. My computer brain can show you how to put Pierre back in Uzgao. Why, that's incredible. Okay, Charlie, what is my first move? Suggest best way to get Pierre quick is crash in door, but use big stick. <laughs> I'll have the handcuffs on that bomb in a matter of seconds. Oh, make slight miscalculation. So sorry, please. Suggest you use pineapple, but without cottage cheese. Plan bomb out, get whirly bird and drop bomb in. Honorable Inspector have stiff upper lip and hard set jaw, but to catch hardened criminal must have concrete idea. Suggest you project self through window with rocket and socket to him. Uh, 
Confucius say, best way to finish off dirty louse is chop down tree and bash in house. Previous plan backfire, next move is on high wire. Never give up hope. This time, use lasso rope. operation called Kaboom, guaranteed to seal Crook's doom. Okay, but I'm warning you, if this plan doesn't work, I'll tear out your transistors one by one. They don't call me Dirty Pierre just for kicks, you know. I was to meet Honorable Inspector in front of house. Aha! Here he comes now. And show you how to save wear and tear. Have great idea on how to catch Pierre. Why, you dirty? I'll show you some wear and tear. Better to split scene than have split head. Come back here, you mechanical maniac! 